requires the retraction of the first umbilical. Second umbilical has been detached and the launch command has been issued. The engines are starting. Turbo pumps coming up to flight speed. Maximum thrust and liftoff of the 78th Progress resupply vehicle en route to deliver over 3,600 pounds of cargo to the International Space Station. Everything being reported as nominal or going well so far. First and second stage engines confirmed to be working as planned. The International Space Station at time of launch flying 257 statute miles over the South Atlantic east of Argentina. Continuing to receive all, continuing to receive all nominal calls. First stage continues to burn and will continue to do so until about two minutes after launch. Now about one minute and 30 seconds into today's flight. Roll pitch and yaw are nominal, and as you can see on the screen, a great shot of first stage separation. The strap-on solid rocket boosters falling away, and Progress 78 continues its journey. All data for the spacecraft still looking nominal or normal. Now about two minutes and 40 seconds into flight, we will be looking for the launch shroud to be jettisoned shortly after three minutes into today's flight. Shroud jettison has been confirmed. Everything's still looking good for Progress 78, Destination International Space Station. The second stage continues to perform as planned. All data is looking good for Progress 78 and the Soyuz 2.1A booster. Coming up in about 30 seconds, we will see second stage shutdown and separation ahead of third stage ignition.
The second stage continues to perform well, and the yaw pitch and roll of the vehicle are as planned. This is an animation being generated from the Russian Mission Control Center in Koryov. This view coming from the upper stage of the rocket itself, that second stage separation confirmed. With second stage shutdown and separation, the uh, third stage skirt was jettisoned prior to third stage ignition, which will continue until eight minutes and 46 seconds after launch. The third stage engine is performing as planned, about three minutes left in its burn time ahead of spacecraft separation and insertion to the Progress 78's preliminary orbit. Six minutes and 30 seconds into today's flight, continuing to receive good data calls uh, from the teams in, the, in Baikonur. As a reminder, launch through spacecraft separation itself being controlled at the blockhouse in Baikonur, and that will be taken over by the Russian Mission Control Center outside of Moscow upon spacecraft separation. The third stage engine continues to perform well. About one more minute left in the third stage burn. Everything continuing to proceed smoothly for Progress 78. Flight going as planned for Progress 78 and just a few seconds until we will stand by for third stage shutdown and spacecraft separation. We have confirmation of third stage shutdown. And as you can see on your screen, progress separation, progress 78, now flying free. Solar arrays now unfurling.
We no longer have the video from the rocket itself, but we saw a successful solar array unfurl, all of the appendages uh, performing as expected on the rocket. And this view is a test of those external black and white crosshairs camera, and this will be used during the docking. Flight, control flight controllers will be able to see the data on screen, showing the distance from progress to the station and the rate of closure in meters per second. However, this won't come into play until July 1st, when they begin to approach the International Space Station for an automated docking of the vehicle. This view of the team and the Russian Mission Control Center in Koryov, outside of Moscow. This team now has flight control of the vehicle, launch control having taken place uh, through the blockhouse in Baikonur. Again, another view from that external camera aboard Progress 78. This will come into play uh, Thursday, July 1st upon docking. Progress is now in its preliminary orbit, traveling at about 17,500 miles per hour. And those pre-programmed engine firings will raise its altitude to match the International Space Station, later being fine-tuned with docking, as we mentioned, scheduled for Thursday evening, July 1st at 9.03 p.m. Eastern Time. Coverage will begin at 8 15 p.m. Eastern Time, ahead of Progress 78's docking to the space-facing side of the Poisk module. Recapping the milestones from today, liftoff occurred on time at 7.27 p.m. Eastern Time, which was 4.27 a.m. at the launch site in Baikonur. The Soyuz 2.1A booster lifted off from Site 31 in Baikonur, and all three stages performed as planned, propelling Progress into its preliminary orbit. Progress will stay on the station for about five months. The spacecraft is scheduled to perform an automated undocking and relocation to the new Nauka multipurpose laboratory module later this year. Yeah. Progress 78 will later undock for a destructive and yet safe re-entry into Earth's atmosphere. Again, tune in for live coverage of Progress automated docking to station Thursday evening, July 1st, beginning at 8.15 p.m. Eastern Time. Thanks for joining us today here in Mission Control Houston, and we will see you next time.